Hey fam, it's Jim Okay, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Yeah, I originally wasn't going to do this video because I came down with the flu recently. Thanks, Currents. But um, yeah, so many of you guys have been requesting and I like a lot of you have been asking me about this hair that I have in currently. So this is just going to be like a brief whatever. <coughs> Yeah, don't, don't mind me if I'm coughing up and just being sickly. So the hair that I'm wearing, um, I got it from the beauty supply store. It's called Big Beautiful Hair um, Purple Pack. It's a 100% human hair blend. Um, and it's in 4C Curly, one pack solution. The color I have in is color two. So I, the reason why I got 4C Coily is because I know that it's not gonna be 4C because to get a 4C curl, that's like as small as like, you know like a pen, the spring inside of a pen, that's how small and that's how tight uh, a 4C coil is and that's when I was like, who's going to be sitting there trying to rot it up? So compared to like the top of my head, because I made a U-part wig, it more mimics like my 4A hair in the front, it's even a little looser. I would say this is almost like a 3C, 4A type of texture, but it still looks really nice, looks really natural. Um, I made a new part wig on my dome head, my trusty dome head. Yeah, so I put my dome cap, my dome, ugh, I put my wig cap on and then I sewed it. It took me a while to do because, I mean, it had like four little bundles, like, you know, beauty supply store bundles. But to sew it, it's, it's more work than people think to construct a wig, but I use my dome head. If you're using your dome head, make sure it's the same size as your actual head. Luckily for me, I have a small head and the dome head is exactly how big the circumference of my head is. Like, this is how big my head is. It's funny. But, um, yeah, so that's what I use. I, oh, whoops. Hold up. Oops, forgot. <laughs> so since I, um... I did a, a U-part wig. You guys know that my hair is um, it's dyed. So to mask that, I used some black spray. I got this from Sally's. It's Color Bombs Explosive Black, just to blend with the rest of my hair. So and it it's um it's not permanent. It comes off like you just rinse it off, wash it off. Like you'll come off. Like it's not a big deal. So that's what I use to blend everything in. To define my curls, I just use um, Camille Rose Curl Maker. That stuff is, it's the bomb. I could probably just use that as a product alone. Yeah, so that, oh, I totally forgot to tell you how much it costs, y'all. This cost $20. Yeah, that's it. A lot of people are asking, like, $20, 20 dollars $20, yep, it's only $20. The only thing that I can say about this is I made it Sunday and I've worn it uh, Monday and now it's Friday. There's a lot of matting and I knew it was gonna be like that just because one <coughs> It's cheap. So most cheap things are not gonna last very long, but two it's really curly And even when I buy like Aliexpress here that stuff does not even last. If it's a curly um, weave it does not last very long. So Yeah, it's starting to matte. I mean, I like the fact that it's frizzing up because it makes it look like more realistic but I, I don't know, I don't think this is going to last for, even with good upkeep, more than a month. But it's only $20, so what can you do? And um, I think that's it. If you guys have any more questions about this, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for enduring through this whole video, even though I'm sick. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.